about the, the central character? Because she's, um, how do you feel about her? Because I, I had very mixed feelings. Sometimes I detested her and sometimes I adored her. BBG, you mean? Yeah. Uh, the Punjabi, the Sikh woman who uh, steals her sister's future, in a sense. Well, yeah, runs woman. off with her fiancé. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> well, um, I'm glad you feel that way because I have mixed feelings about her, too. Uh, on the one hand, um, I admire her, um, her spirited approach to life. I admire her zest and her, her energy. I like her for her large-heartedness. Uh, uh, although the, the large-heartedness comes edged with uh, um, a bit of pragmatic, uh, well, if I give something, I expect something in return. Yeah, there's sort of a, yes. uh, th this will be good kind of a car is it karma. It, yes. Th this will be good karma. But I think if you do it expecting good karma, that's bad. Isn't that bad? Oh, karma? absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, this woman doesn't do anything without an expectation of something in return. Um, she's ambitious. She's pushy. Um, but she's not, she, she isn't exactly an evil person. She is like a, a lot of people I know. I'm, I'm sure I'm like that too. I appear like that too to lots of other people. Not entirely good, not entirely bad. Um, uh, she, she has grown up expecting to get whatever it is she wants by any means. Um, Probably because she's the youngest and spoiled and yes, the princess. Yes, yes. And she's just, and she's been spoiled right through her, in her, you know, her married life has been extraordinarily full of riches of all kinds because her husband adores her and spoils her silly. And she's had a good life, uh, managed to make a very good life for herself here in Canada. So she comes to rely on her own um, uh, abilities or to get anything she wants by hook or by crook even people. Yeah, she, at one point, um, she has no children of her own, mm -hmm. and she reconnects with the family that she walked away from, and, and they'd been lost in the confusion of partition. Mm -hmm. And she offers to take her nephew mm -hmm. back so to give him an education, mm -hmm. but basically kidnaps him. Yes. I mean, for all intents and purposes, and, uh, you know, at yes. least emotionally. Yes, she does. Uh, but she and that family that she claims as her own isn't uh, need nece isn't necessarily uh, uh, her real family. She just decides that okay, that's it. Uh, this is how I can uh, uh, this is how I can assuage my guilt. Uh, she feels guilty uh, right through because she she does, she's a childless woman. And she uh, believes that her childlessness, childlessness is because she had uh, committed the sin of stealing her sister's, uh, the man meant for her sister, and thus condemning her sister to this sort of uh, maybe death or whatever it is that's happened to her sister. And so she has been trying to find some way to redeem herself in her own eyes and in the eyes of the God, so to speak. And so when she gets this opportunity to claim a family as her own, uh, the, uh, the daughter of this lost sister, or so she assumes, she just grabs that opportunity. And it, because it is in her nature to keep grabbing at things that she wants, she also decides to, as you pointed out, more or less kidnap this boy. You know, he, she takes away uh, takes him away from his parents promising to bring him back every year but keeps finding reasons not to <laughs> he in turn uh, grows up and um, he's a nasty piece of work too because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like careful what you wish for mm -hmm. you get it mm -hmm. and and he's and he falls into um, sort of extremist mm -hmm, hands mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he um, he's one of those um, He's angry with his own parents for having sent him away with so little ceremony. He is angry that he uh, doesn't really fit into this new world he's come to. Um, he's generally ang an angry little boy who grows up into an angry man and uh, finds um, some kind of self-worth um, uh, by joining, joining up with a bunch of uh, 
radical uh, people, fundamentalist, a fundamentalist preacher kind of person who comes into the city. The book is Can You Hear the Nightbird Call? I've been speaking with the author Anita Rabadami and Can You Hear the Nightbird Call? Published by Canuck Canada.